Washington is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nice run there. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. Eight-yard gain on the pass. That'll be good enough for the first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Three-yard gain by the running back. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 41. Green nine, green nine. Here's the halfback. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle at the 32. So the quarterback scrambles for about eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Black five, black five, three, nine. And he's tackled right away. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. the ninth play of this drive. Converts the extra point. A 10 play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 7 0. Penn State gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eyes that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down.
Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Seven-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's taken down at the 38. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. That brings up second and nine. I'd love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. He's tackled at the 17. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Blue 14! Blue 14! Gets to about the 17-yard line. That makes it second and ten. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's a team of 14 yards on the ground. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Washington. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. First and 10, ball on their own 38. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Ready, two. Three, nine. And he's hit immediately. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7 7. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And they 
Got him for a loss. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. It makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series and make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. First and ten. Ball on the 11. Black five. Black to nine. Green 15. Gets to about the eight yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. You remember me? Go. They'll get him for a loss. Third down. From the 10 yard line. Third down. Mike 10. Mike 10. Mike 10. Pit. Black pit. Catches it, and that's all. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Penn State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Play fake. three-yard line. It's third down. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us that there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against it, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, you better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Penn State holds a field goal lead. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 43. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. He's got it with room to run. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Complete across the middle. Big play, and it's first and goal. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Touchdown, Penn State! And that's his
his second touchdown of the day. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Washington's game plan coming in, obviously, to run the football, control the clock, control the line of scrimmage. They're doing some of that, but they're behind on the scoreboard, so it really doesn't matter. Something's going to have to give in the second half. Well, they're not doing enough. I mean, it, you know, he's having a great individual performance in this game. Uh, you look at the scoreboard, though, and, it, and it's not working out. It's not giving them enough points. So I think diversity is the key for them moving into the second half. They've got to be able to try to make some changes, put the pressure more on the quarterback and the receivers, and take some of the pressure off of just running the football. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. The running back carries for 10 yards on the draw play. The Huskies taking their first time out of the half. Set. Blue 14. Blue 14. Motion, 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 motion. He gets sacked on the play. Third down, six to go. Ball on their own 41. And he's taken down at about the 45. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to lead the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You gotta get those. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Penn State's offensive coordinator. I don't know if he saw something in that defense in that first quarter, but right now they're rolling. You know, they started off a little bit slow, but give him a lot of credit for making the adjustments, and all of a sudden he's made enough adjustments to put his offense in a position to put up a lot of points. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And two, three, and 15. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Hit. So with a half inning, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. Penn State's got a 13-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, 
and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. The Nittany Lions continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Set, hey. 10 Boston, 10 Boston. Hey. On the run. Hey. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Here they come. Fires quickly to the tight end. Brought down at the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Scrambling around. Room around the corner. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Caught, and he's hit immediately. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Delay of game, offense. And the coach doesn't look very happy after that call. Well, you only help out the defense when you don't get the playoff in time. You're essentially just giving away free yardage. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they push him out around the 41-yard line. That's a nice six-yard gain. It's a well-designed play to the halfback. And it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Mike 40, Mike 40. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They'll run for it. Can't get there. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Mike 10. Mike 10. Mike 10. Red 2. Straight ahead on the given. There's nowhere to run. Call a loss of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Red 
Red two, motion. yellow three. Shut down, motion. Yellow, motion. go. Fumble, loose ball. And they fall on the loose ball. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets it. He's in space. That makes it second and six. Hey, check, 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 check. Oklahoma. Hey. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled at the 12. That's good for the yards. First down. He fights forward to about the 10. They'll bring him down at the 7. the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. There's a strike complete, and he tackles him hard at the 29. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Penn State Mike up six. Mike Tid, Mike Tid. Dog four. Orange three. Orange three. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop around the 39 yard line. first from the 48 yard line first down gets out to around the 38 Stopped immediately. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 33. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And he is drilled at the 16. That's three down and one to go. Penn State's lead is six.
Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Tins the mic. Black goal. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for him. Five yards. That brings him second and five. And this play is for eight on the drive. Four down, four down. By ten. Penn State ten with a six-point lead. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green. Here we go. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That makes it third and seven. From the 13-yard line, third down. Watch the run, watch the Thank run! You. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Picks up a yard. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. It's second and goal. Ball on the four. They're packed in tight on the line. Touchdown, Nippy Lions. They went to their power back to get them in. I love to watch this guy. He just lowers his head and dares people to get in front of him. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. They don't get it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. That's a great tackle at the 37. Let's go, D. That makes it first to ten. ten. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings us second and nine. Gains his way to midfield. On the tackle. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. 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 Hey. Oklahoma! Mike 40, Mike 40! It's, it's gonna be a Catches it, and that's all. A pickup of four on the play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Got a man. Watch out here. Very solid game through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Let's switch the mic right here. We're going down. Ten Boston. Ten Boston. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Passes left, going the other way. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. First and ten. Ball on their own eight. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. That 
makes it second and ten. Get him for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. They line up at the six. It's third down. Dog four. Go. Quick pass, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. Fires to his receiver, first down. They come out in an empty backfield. Almost intercepted. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play. But it doesn't always happen. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. a very heads-up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Nice run there as they work the outside. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. They'll keep it on the ground again. Third down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Check. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. The Huskies have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can't build the future around his abilities for sure.